believe that. Woo! It is a blizzard! It's a total blizzard! Wow! Come on, dude. Oh, no. Two wings up. These were mostly gone, and the wild rush of fall was over. I had a lot of backed up video editing to do, and with Thanksgiving and the holidays coming on fast, I was doing my best to stay in shape, stay sane, and strive for balance. We had a lot of work to do in order to prepare for winter at the new property, but the days seemed to be flying fast. So early morning after early morning, I chipped away to keep the bills at bay and caught a few fine sunrises along the way. through the November crunch, daydreaming of all the things we would do on our land when it came time. And I thought back to earlier in the fall, when Noah and Simon came over and we walked the land in excitement, and I taught Noah how to drive the tractor. Plow truck hadn't been starting, and so we tried to pop start it to no avail. but I'd have to face this problem sooner than later because that long driveway is going to be treacherous come winter. Sure is nice to have a stove again. You uh, forget how hard it is to really cook efficiently without a good stove. This is my first uh, first little breakfast on it. And then I'm waking up my, my starter and I haven't baked a loaf of bread since Rhode Island. It's been like well over a month. So time to bake some bread and start making some other sourdough things. I wanna do sourdough 
buns, dinner rolls for Thanksgiving. We gotta get into like the baked goods too. I want some muffins. <laughs> uh, Simon just stopped by for, he might be coming back one more time, but we walked the land around the house and it just feels like the type of similar feeling from when we were kids and we would just walk through the woods and just admire the land and then look at the trees and always feels so good to have him home. I'm grateful for the time that we do get to spend together. And it's, it's the simplest moments, like he forgot his bag in my truck the day that me, him, and Noah hung out. Last night we met for dinner to give him the bag back, forgot to give him the bag back, and then so we stopped by the house today and it's these little stop bys that end up being some of the most memorable moments with the people you love. You never know when it's gonna happen, but. It just did. There's dinner in the yard. Out behind the car. Tonight we're gonna do something different. Allie and her sister were running a lot too, and the flakes were falling on and off, but never enough to stay for long. I don't know how to make something more delicious a sweet tape pie and a flimsy paper plate baby I don't think it gets much better there isn't much to keep we lay down and fall asleep till the morning I still keep guys. Friends would stop by, and I stayed diligent at my post, waiting for more snow. I know it's getting late. The night is full of such mistake. I was hoping that you might. This is a cool surprise. I had no idea this was coming. Oh, I can't wait till the first big snow. The real hard table outside. Somehow the sun is out. How about this weather we're having? <laughs> Sun's out. It's been it's so long, baby, and we had our first few dinners with Noah and Kaylee at the house. And we started making plans for a New Year's Eve trip. What's coming tomorrow? This is my favorite time of the night when after dinner and start to wind down and get ready to go to bed. I've been really loving getting up super early. I go through different periods. Sometimes I like being a night owl, staying up into the wee hours, but lately I've found that this extremely early has been my high period of productivity. I love watching the sunrise out the windows and getting the house alive, starting the wood stove, everything like that. So this is the time of the night where, you know, if my mind feels like it's gonna have a hard time shutting down, I'll mix up some beam, which is basically just a nighttime hot cocoa that helps you fall asleep fast and makes you stay asleep through the night and wake up feeling refreshed. It's the best feeling in the world to get good sleep. It's also super important. I get into a grind mode where I'll work really, really hard and go, 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 go for super long, but it is 
just as important to rest. I've told you about Beam before. I genuinely drink Beam often. And in my experience, if you've ever had trouble sleeping, this is the answer. It's extremely tasty. It's pretty much like a dessert after dinner, but there's no sugar. There's only 15 calories and they've got tons of different flavors and they're all delicious. The best part about Dream is that it has high quality ingredients that don't leave you groggy the next day. And this isn't a gimmick. In a clinical study, 93% of participants reported that Dream helped them get better sleep and to wake up feeling more refreshed. So click the link in the video description or scan the QR code to shop the last day of Beam's biggest sale. You can get up to 50% off. The discount is auto applied, so there's no code necessary. So thank you to Beam for sponsoring this video and for continuing to support this channel. And now back to the story. And the nights where the flakes fell by surprise held simple magic. I did not know it was gonna snow tonight. Simon just said it's, it could snow half a foot, but it does look like it's gonna turn to slush and uh, rain by morning, but whew, so pretty. truck still wasn't up and running, and these flakes showed no signs of stopping. Yeah. Are you gonna have some right now? Yeah, sure. Right, I'll this you want some curry? I can't have no curry. Me and Joyce were chilling here today. The flower she brought by is awesome. Mm -hmm. I was showing her all these videos of Mao and we are hanging out. Really? And Hoyt it too. Hoyt it was there? It's almost Thanksgiving, and my mom just dropped by as an early Christmas present this flower, this local flower she found. It's stone milled. Yeah, milled on November 13th, 2023. This was milled a week ago. It's all from New England, from the Northeast, I guess. Our mill is in Holyoke, Mass, and runs on hydroelectric power. Cool. I haven't baked in forever. My starter is fired up. Been sitting here not far from the wood stove. That's ready to go. And I'm gonna make, gonna make two loaves of bread, one for Thanksgiving with Allie's family, one for Thanksgiving with mine. And then I wanna try and make uh, sourdough, uh, just uh, like dinner rolls, buns. Had kind of a off day today. Just been on such a busy stretch with work. And this time of year, there's just, there's a lot of little things with the property and all the machines that I wanna get squared away before winter. And, I've kind of been stuck inside working behind the computer, and then I want to spend time with family. It happens every year, but woke up, wasn't feeling great, had an off day, and then I went for a nice long run and felt so much better. And exercise is such a good outlet for especially walking, running, being outside. Good for not just the body, but the mind too, to breathe in the fresh air, be able to think, and put one foot in front of the other. Let's see, 1,000 grams of flour, I guess. 800 grams of water. 
Oh man, I wonder if I have my bread spoon here. Uh, ah! There she blows. Really combining nice though. This is. I used to do auto lease where you let the flour and the water combine for like 40 minutes, but I think you can just put the starter right in and the salt. We're gonna do 150 grams about of starter. Wow, that's bubbly. <laughs> That's like the most important part is that your starter is extremely active. And then salt, we need 2% salt. So in a thousand grams, it would be 20 grams of salt. I gotta say, bad days, off days, whatever. By going on that run, I was able to, to reflect and just kind of think about where we are in life and how, how far we've come <laughs> Even just from last, from this past spring or whatever, when we lived in the tiny apartment and I was renting storage units and all this stuff, and now we have a place of our own, and I get to have nights like this where I, where I exercised, I ate a really nice meal, I used up a bunch of the leftover vegetables in the fridge, and now I got the wood stove going, and Mao's cozied up on the couch, and I'm uh, making bread, doing laundry, and then I'm gonna. Do do some work on the computer too, and it's these simple nights. I just love the I love the simple things in life: doing laundry and working on dough, loading the wood stove. It's just satisfying. I hope the tractor starts. I know we need a new battery. I just haven't gotten around to getting it. I'm supposed to be getting a plow bucket on it too because the Dodge doesn't start right now. We have no way to plow the driveway. Ay, 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 ay. But I'm gonna give her a shot. But first, I gotta shovel the deck. I didn't know this snow was coming. <laughs> oh. Well, eventually I got it running and I pushed that snow the best I could with the old smiling bucket. And I learned that any significant storm is going to be a half-day affair at a property like this. There's a lot to think about when you have your own place out in the countryside. You get a lot more responsibilities and everyday chores, but I can't imagine life any other way. batteries for both of these machines so that this does not happen again. Thank you. 
finally, one of Allie and I's favorite days was almost here. And I headed to the big white Milltown house the night before to meet with everyone and prepare. I mean, wasn't crab no. proper. <laughs> yes. Are you making crescents? These are plain old dinner rolls. I would just cut them to whatever you think and go with the one. The buns are in my container. And the next day, I came home to find a familiar truck parked in the driveway. You want to see something crazy? I think you'll appreciate this. So this is a camera, right? There's a screen and everything. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Cute as hell. Do you have a jump pack, you said, right? All I have is those cables. Well, I have like a plug-in. Yeah, I guess I do. All right, well, this is what we do at the quarry. I'm gonna hook up one in here and then one to, one to a ground. <laughs> what more can I do for you? It's like Kyle's only expert. What, like, what do you mean? You got <laughs> the juice! What are you doing? Keeping around? Multiple decades. Well, it is sometimes taking around finest to find excuse. It's been said before. Together, we put the new batteries into the plow truck and the tractor and worked on a few other problems to get them both running smooth. All right, we got these two very tall, very dead trees across from each other that we're going to try and basically hit one with the other. <laughs> Shouldn't be out of the question. Before the... <laughs> Final. Well, go hook him up. You want to do it? Let's get the 
the muffs. Let's do this thing be done with it. Well, I don't have uh, ear muffs, so we were just using these old helmets, but they work great. You always start with your down cup. So you were kind of aiming to the right of the big tree. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start right here. This is awesome. This is the first time that we've harvested like a full tree on this property. And there's a ton of standing dead. There's a lot of beach. They've got some kind of blight in the bark and they just die standing up. And uh, we got a lot of firewood we can harvest. It's all gonna be dry. Not good wow, it's heavy. Fabrics, but it's like a thick yeah, yeah, it is. It's great. Cool. This is real Cheers, deal. Man. Ouch, mouch. <laughs> oh. November day. What you think, Ma? Good day for some exploration. See if old blue will fire. <laughs> Hope I got good gas in here. for Thanksgiving at my parents' house. Must be all the fun. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I hadn't been to the little red house in a while, and it felt nice to be back, especially this time of year.
did our traditional Thanksgiving walk, and later, my favorite after hours tradition. Jared and John stop by for some target practice. Honestly. And with the dodge running, we tried to get the plow hooked up and discovered the module inside the cab wasn't getting any power. A new problem that needed immediate attention. <laughs> that much. No, no, that's right. Come on. So I'm going to make a big batch of Well, Thanksgiving's over and it's really the beginning of the official slowdown. <sighs> Problem is, now that after rushing so much in the fall, <laughs> I didn't get to do any of the stuff around the house and to my machines and stuff that I wanted to. So now it's cold out and it's really hard to do any work on cars outside and stuff. But today's just barely warm enough to wash the trooper, get it ready for fluid film. I'm really trying it. This thing is completely rust free. It's from California and I'm really trying to preserve it. Winter lager season. nights at our favorite haunts, and with a little snow on the forecast, we decided we'd take Old Blue to get our Christmas tree the next morning.
driving at highway speeds, she lost power and left us stranded on the side of the road. And so there we were, on a cold December morning, down on our luck, but not giving up. Literally John Buddha. I know. <laughs> Out how I was down on my luck, but I'm not giving up. My hat or my eyes in the back of my truck, waiting for trout to rise from the stream, and I'll be 